Good morning everyone welcome to SSB crack exams i am sakshi and in this session we are about to discuss the daily current affairs as on 20th july 2020 so before beginning as i always tell you if you are preparing for defense examination sitting back home ssb crack is best solution for you it is a one stop solution for all the major defense related exams like nda cds efcat territorial army for more details you can visit our website ssbcrackexams.com there you will find the entire package of courses mock tests quizzes and study materials you can also follow us on our social media platforms forms instagram twitter facebook and telegram for defense updates and notifications do not forget to subscribe our youtube channel you can also download our mobile app ssb crack exams from google play store so guys let's start our session with the question of the day in the previous day session i have asked you what are maternity benefit programs by government of india so by this i didn't mean only one maternity benefit programs i was talking about the various maternity benefit programs that are launched by government of india so many of have answered only one maternity benefit program but okay i'll discuss all the major maternity benefit programs which are launched by government of india So first one being Janni Suraksha Yojana. So it is a safe motherhood intervention uh, scheme uh, which comes under National Rural Health Mission. Okay, it comes under National Rural Health Mission and it is being implemented with the objective of reducing maternal and infant mortality. And this is to be done by promoting institutional delivery. Please remember Janni Suraksha Yojana by institutional delivery mechanism. Okay, moving ahead next one being. Uh, Pradhan Mantri Matru Vandana Yojana. So many of you have answered this particular scheme. So as you all know, it is a conditional cash transfer scheme for pregnant and lactating women, and the age limit is 19 years or above that. And that cash transfer, that conditional uh, cash transfer, it, it is to be given for the first life birth. And the scheme it was announced in the year 2017. The next maternity benefit program by government of India is Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan. So it is a campaign, particularly for the fixed day, a short, comprehensive, and quality antenatal and care for all the pregnant women, and that too for the second and third trimester of their pregnancies, and that is to be given on the ninth of every month. Okay, so these were the maternity benefit programs of government of India. Government of India has like several maternity benefit programs. and these are to be implemented by several ministries like uh, as you have seen the first one was under national health mission and this one also pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan it is also under the national health mission only some of the scheme are launched by ministry of women and child development this is uh, launched by uh, ministry of women and child development so although these schemes are launched by different departments but they also coordinate among themselves and at the end of the day they all are working toward the implementation of the same okay so let's start with the first article of today and the first we are going to discuss about bhagirathi eco sensitive zone so our union minister prakash javedkar ji uh, he has approved the zonal master plan for bhagirathi eco sensitive zone so first of all let me talk about bhagirathi it is a river and it is one of the two head stream of river ganga it originates from gangotri glacier which is near gomuk and it meets alaknanda at dev prayag as we all know and it forms ganga river then in there so um, talking about this particular eco sensitive zone it stretches from gomuk to uttarkashi and it covers approximately 4179 square kilometers and this particular plan is to ensure the faster execution of char dham road project this is the main thing that this master plan is for the char dham road project so what is zonal master plan so this particular master plan it it is based on watershed approach and includes governance in the areas of forest and wildlife watershed management irrigation energy tourism public health and sanitation etc but so when we talk about the location of bhagirathi eco sensitive zone it comes majorly under upper himalayas and it is an interdependent fragile ganga himalayan basin and the area falls under the higher himalayas and garwa lesser himalayas so talking about char dham road project it is a project proposed to provide all weather connectivity to yamunotri gangotri badrinath and kedarnath so these are the char dhams okay and the project will be providing all weather connectivity to these through road okay and it has 53 total project which covers approximately 826 kilometers in length 
so when we talk about the notification of bhagirathi eco sensitive zone it was first issued by environment ministry on december 18 2012 only but later on several protest happened and after that amendment in the notification happened and finally this master plan has been approved by the ministry so hence for there are several concerns regarding this particular uh, project uh, the chadham project and the master plan and first one being from kedana disaster geological survey of india it has reported that road construction in mountain regions reactivates the landslides in the region second one being himalaya is very fragile mountain and if you know the geography indian plate converges under eurasian plate then in there so it is a seismic five zone and major earthquake they happens there and they can happen there any time so these are the major concerns for this particular uh, master plan and eco sensitive zone and chadham road projects uh, okay so moving ahead next we have global multi dimensional poverty index 2020 so it was released by oxford party and human development initiative and undp that is united nations development program so what is multi dimensional poverty uh, it is a deprivation experienced by people in various areas like poor health lack of education inadequate standard of livings etc so as you can see in this image there are three dimensions of poverty first one being health second is education and third is standards of living under health there are two types of indicators first is nutrition and second is child mortality under education they calculated on the basis of years of schooling and school attendance and in the standards of living there are various uh, categories cooking fuel sanitation drinking water electricity housing etc etc so these are the several dimensions of poverty and under this particular report india has recorded the largest reduction in the number of people living in poverty as around 273 million people moved out of multi dimensional poverty over 10 years okay so talking about various other features of this particular index so around 1.3 billion people are still living in multi dimensional poverty under this children shows higher rate of multi dimensional poverty around half of the multi dimensionally poor people are children under age of 18 and one in three children is poor compared to one in six adults and apart from this among 65 countries 50 countries have reduced the number of people living in poverty this is all about the global multi dimensional in the poverty index which was released by undp please remember that it is released by undp moving ahead next we have is 18 july it is celebrated as international nansel nansen mandela day so this particular day it was officially declared by united nation in 2009 and the first un mandela day it was observed in the year 2010 so uh, nansen mandela he was born on 18 july 1918 so henceforth international nansen mandela day it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of nansen mandela so talking about mr mandela he served as president of south africa between 1994 to 1999 and he was the first black head of the state he is a nobel prize winner he is a nobel prize winner and he was he won the nobel prize for the peace in the year 1993 also he is a bharat ratna winner and he received the bharat ratna in 1990 moving ahead next article we have is inauguration of covid 19 plasma donation campaign at aims so our health minister has inaugurated the covid 19 plasma donation campaign at new delhi and this particular event it was co organized by delhi police where 26 police personnel who have recovered from the covid 19 they have volunteered to donate their blood plasma so uh, when we talk about recovery rate in the country it is around 63% and the fatality rate is also in india is has around around 2.5 which is least in comparison with the global average so this is also was a news that the fatality rate of india has for, for the first time it has fall below 2.5% okay also 29 states and union territories register case fatality rate lower than the national average okay now i'll be telling you the current covid 19 situation in india so as per 19th july 2020 the active cases have reached to 373379 the cured cases have reached to 677422 and the deaths have counted as 26816 
So now guys, let's revise everything that we have discussed in this particular session. Now let's start with the first question. You have uh, the first question you have is Bhagirathi originates from which of the following? A Gangotri, Yamnotri, Pir Panjal range or Janabab hills. So the correct answer for this is Gangotri. I told you, right? Bhagirathi is originate from Gangotri glacier and then it uh, meets Alaknanda at Devpraya and they form Ganga river. Now, next question is Global Multidimensional Party Index 2020. It was released by which of the following? A. UNEP, B. UNDP, C. UNESCO or D. ECOSOC. So the correct answer for this will be United Nations Development Program, of course. UNEP is United Nations Environmental Program, UNESCO, you know, and ECOSOC is Economic and Social Council, okay? Now, next question is Bhagirathi Eco-Sensitive Zone notification was issued by uh, Ministry of Earth Sciences, Ministry of Road Transport, Rural Development, Ministry of Environment, Forecast and Climate Change. So, the correct answer for this will be D, Ministry of Environment, for Forecast and Climate Change. Next is International Nelson uh, Mandela Day. It was celebrated on. So the correct answer for this is 18th July. Okay guys, so now the question for the day. You are supposed to answer this question in the comment section. What is malware and how does it spread? So there is one malware which is in news recently. Uh, try to talk about that also. I'll discuss the complete and the detailed answer in the next session. For that, you will have to stay tuned. Till then, work hard. Jai Hind.